Hey, this is Dr. Green with Momenta Chiropractic, and today we're gonna to go over one of the most common exercises that we show patients with low back pain, and it's a way to teach hip hinging, and we use a dowel for it, so we call it a dowel hip hinge. Um, so what you'll need is a dowel of some kind. We use just like a wooden dowel um, that we found at like Home Depot. You can use PVC pipes. You can even use something like a broomstick. Just make sure to screw off the actual broom part. Um, just something that's sturdy enough and then we can use it as a form checker for, uh, for making sure that we keep a neutral spine. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to place it on our back and we're going to hold it with one or two hands, whatever you like. And we're going to think about three points of contact. So the first point is going to be the back of the head. The second point is going to be the mid back. And then the third point is going to be somewhere either kind of right on like the, the pelvis, maybe kind of towards the, uh, the sacrum, towards the bottom or the tailbone, somewhere just kind of toward the bottom there. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, a stance so our, our feet should be about hip width apart. Um, it's okay if they're a little bit wider or a little bit more narrow, but the idea is to have enough room to be able to shift the hips back. Um, as we stand with those three points of contact, our feet about hip width apart, we're going to bend the knees slightly just so we don't have them totally locked out. And then we're going to think about rather than bending in our back, we're going to keep our back straight, keep all three points of contact and shift our hips back toward the wall behind us. So as we sit back, our weight shifts back toward our heels. We should feel a good stretch through the hamstrings and we should feel mostly the glutes turn on, not as much kind of extension through the back. The reason that we use this exercise is to tell where we're kind of breaking because usually what happens is people develop pain by bending through their low back. So if I lose any point of contact, for example, if I'm rounding in my back, I'm going to lose my low back. If I'm extending too much, I'm going to lose that center point or that second point in my mid back. And if my head starts to fall, we're going to lose that first point. The next important thing is in order to stand up, as we sit back, we want to make sure that we're not just lifting our chest to stand up, but rather pushing our hips straight forward to use our glutes and hamstrings to allow ourselves to stand up and come back to neutral. So again, hips or feet about hip width apart. We're going to bend the knees. We're going to sit back. So hips back toward the wall, making sure that our weight shifts back toward our heels. Feel that stretch in the hamstring. And then we're going to push our hips forward, squeezing our glutes at the top to come back to that neutral position. And that's a dowel hip hinge.